Okay, in the Women's FA Cup semi-finals, uh, West Ham are beating Reading on penalties. Man City won a scrappy game against Chelsea uh, uh, up uh, in Manchester. So this was the game that I watched. Wasn't the best game. It was a scrappy game, I'm not going to lie. The first half wasn't the best half of football that you're ever going to see in either men or women's games. You get a lot of these games in the men's game. I, will, I can definitely assure you that. A lot of, All the action happens in the second half. All the key talking points happen in the second half. The two chances that Chelsea hit the post and the bar and the really bizarre own goal that seals the game for Manchester City. Frank Kirby's header that hit the bar. That was her best bit of play in the game. Uh, she had a below par performance. Fran Kirby uh, is a highly thought of uh, young player. Uh, she's really developed as, as a player since she played at Reading. She's gone to Chelsea and she has become a key part of Phil Neville's England squad. This wasn't her best game, but that, do that doesn't mean you know she's a bad player. Even great players in the men's game have you know uh, off games or off seasons. But her technique for that header, very good technique in a crowded box from a free kick. And you know on another day it bounces in off the bar it goes in off the bar um and it's a great goal and we're talking about how you know her technique's brilliant and and the goal's brilliant it's just we're talking about two inches lower it's a goal but today it's not and it has proved crucial the second miss by Cuthbert I think is more crucial because now Chelsea are getting dominance and they're starting to create chances in a very bitty scrappy end of season game you can tell it's near the end of the season you can tell the players are, are, are tired you can tell there's some players who aren't fully fit it told today that second miss I think is more crucial than the first because Chelsea now have dominance that 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 hit that header off the bar Spark Chelsea into life for a brief spell of about 10, 15 minutes. And and, and Cuthbert off the post ah, beats the keeper all ends up. Um, that's the more telling miss. Uh, because Chelsea have now started to have this dominance, a lot of possession. They're actually moving the ball quicker and they don't do enough with it. And I say this a lot in a lot of sports. It's all well and good having a lot of the possession in team sports. But if you don't, A, move, move quickly with that possession, be it the ball, the puck, whatever it may be, ice hockey or rugby or, or football or rugby league, if you don't move uh, with possession quickly and attack quickly and you're more methodical and slow at times, eh, it can backfire. And it's backfired on Chelsea. So they've had a lot of ball in the second half. They've had those two really great chances. And then the own goal is actually from a nothing cross. There's no one in the, There's no Man City players in the box. It's an aimless cross. It's just, oh, we're winding down the clock. We'll keep the ball down the Chelsea end. We'll get into extra time. Magdalena Eriksson clearly thinks there are Man City players around her. And Berger, the Chelsea goalkeeper, who didn't look great today, uh, hasn't communicated. There's no one there. Leave it. So it's a very nervy keeper who stays on their line. And a defender who believes, incorrectly, there are players around her. She has to do something when she doesn't. And it bubbles off her shin over the keeper's head, into the bottom corner of the goal. That has proved the difference. Um, and it comes down to communication. And you can say the Chelsea keeper wasn't dominant in her area. There was a few crosses, come shots uh, in, in the second half from Man City. One of them, uh, she has it in her hands and it goes between her legs. And she's lucky that there are two Chelsea defenders to, to seal off the ball from uh, the Man City attacker. And it isn't an own goal from the goalkeeper. Um, that could have been avoided with better communication. So Man City have had less of the possession. They've had they've they, it's a nothing cross. I've seen more bizarre own goals, but that's a pretty bizarre one because it was totally avoidable. Uh, then there's a lengthy delay because Steph Horton has a looks like a serious arm injury. She did play on, but I wouldn't be surprised if she's got a fractured forearm. But we'll find out later on. Uh, and that meant instead of three minutes of added time, there were seven. Uh, and the, the game sort of went down a, a damp squib at the end. Uh, it's unfortunate that it wasn't the best game. But at the same time, many a men's game at semi-final stages, much like Brighton Man City uh, the other weekend in the men's FA Cup semi-final, weren't great games, considering the quality on the field. So... While it was a bitty, scrappy semi-final, not one to live long in the memory, Manchester City could do a women and men's double in the FA Cup this year. That is very, very interesting if that is doable. Um, they, yeah, they could do a double in both the men and women's FA Cups. Also, this is the first time Man City women have beaten Chelsea in an FA Cup as well in eight attempts. Uh, they've lost seven. So, while it wasn't the best game, 
Man City can make history in the women's game with both the men and women both playing at Wembley, both with a chance to lift uh, their version of the FA Cup. So that's going to be really interesting to see. Chelsea, they need to look at how they play today and learn from from that. Uh, and part of that lesson is to move the ball quicker and attack quicker when in possession because it's all well and good having possession. They didn't do enough with it. And there was that brief purple patch where they couldn't quite take advantage of the amount of ball that they had and the pressure they were putting Manchester City under. But there we go. Not the best FA Cup semi-final, but it's not the worst match I've ever seen. Um, but Manchester City have scraped out a 1-0 win. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, place your thoughts below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.